Hi, welcome to DC Vigilante. I just uh, went live on Facebook there, talking about why why should we post uh, release the Snyder Cut? Why should we post um, constantly videos about it? And I'm totally gobsmacked why people are asking this question. I am. I, I mean, especially from DC fans, we have. Um, we have a film that uh, that is longer. We have a film that promises to be different from what it is. There is no sign of a new Justice League movie uh, in our lifetime anytime soon. There's been mixture of bat. Uh, you know, we have a new Batman. Don't know what's happening with Superman, but we know that there's a film out there that shows a different side to the film that we already got. And I'm not talking about Batman vs Superman and Batman vs Superman Ultimate Edition. No, no, it's far different from that. This is a totally new film, but it's promises to have new characters, like uh, rumoured to have Green Lantern and it, rumoured to have um, <coughs> Martian Manhunter. It's, it's sort of kind of been proven that Darkseid's been in it. There's more of a backstory to some of the characters. Uh, from from Cyborg to The Flash. The more action, different palette of tone colours. There's not a Russian family in it. Because um, take out the Russian family and then you have something like 10 minutes of, of storyline already that can be maybe filled with more action or more or more uh, character development this uh, we, are, we have a different music a different feel to it we, we have we have uh, more emotion when it comes to the threat of Steppenwolf we have dark side at the at the end or at the start of the movie with it you know just striking down fear on everybody. We've got a different fight at the end. A more violent fight with Wonder Woman. We've had casts and crews. And even Marvel people are now all joining the fight. Because they want to see this true artist version of the movie. So why aren't you excited? Why aren't you spreading the word? Hashtag release the Snyder Cut. I are you... Are you tired? Are you exhausted? Uh, are you getting fed up with seeing it? Maybe that's because you're in the know. Right? Because it is, I must admit, it's, it is um, tiring when I go out to Forbidden Planet comic book shop. I'm expecting to see like-minded people there. But then I find out after talking to them that they have no idea the goings-on behind Disney's Star Wars they have no idea that Batman vs Superman had an Ultimate Edition. They had no idea about the Snyder Cut. They have no idea about it, even though it's tweeted. Uh, and what, number one tweet around the world. Uh, it hit the news lines. Clickbait media's jumping on, on board with it. We have uh, non-believers turning into believers. We've had people that, that hated BVS turning into fans of it because they're, because they're stepping away from the rubbish that the media and the critics are putting out there. The people that are telling you that you've not to like it and know this does not exist. Even though Zack Snyder has been there helping you, posting your pictures of films. I mean, hello, Mera, Mera and Volko and Justice League, we heard that they were, they were in it. Now, now we're getting images, special effects seem to be fine, all done. We've had uh, images of Batman swooping down, kicking ass instead, and we have a serious Batman, you know, none of this, oh, you know, it was... Oh, I'll feel that in the morning. You know, we, or we have um, Superman with the really bad mouth at the start. Seriously. We have a film that promises more back, more characters, more backstory, a longer film. Why would you not want it? Right? 
why would you not want this film? I'm, I'm tired of seeing people saying, oh no, not this again. Let's talk about the DCEU. Listen, we can talk about the DCEU, yes, because we know that there's these films coming out, but there is no sign of another Justice League. There is not another, we don't know what's happening with Henry Cavill, we don't know what's happening with um, Batman or whatever, but we get the, uh, or the Flash movie, sorry, not the Batman, the Flash movie, but if we get the Snyder Cut, that brings it all back in, right? It gives the fans, it gives you more power, it tells it, because believe me, you will love it. Who cannot love a longer, serious, more f uh, film rather than what we got, which it ended up as a flop, right? So, so, so when we get this Justice League, it may bring back more credit to Batman and Superman. It'll put this film uh, in the hopes of another Justice League back on the table. It may even put another Superman back on the table. Now, yes, you may, as I say, you may not be a big Zack Snyder fan. Maybe again, um, because you're not a big fan, you don't want to be seen two-faced and all of a sudden support Zack Snyder. There is nothing wrong about people changing their minds. Right? You do not have to hate uh, or be against the movement just because you feel like you're backpedaling. It's okay because then what we'll do is we'll understand that you did some fact-finding. Just like Mark Hughes, who was... He's just publicly said that he never once thought that the Snyder Cut exists. He apologises now. He believes it does. And he and he's dead against all these journalists that are making false news and saying that it would cost too much. But if you look into it, the film is basically done. And the minute that, that magazine came out by a variety, Zack Snyder was there saying, Whoa! Here, take a look at this picture. Take a look at this picture. He's talking to the DC fans, assuring them. And says, needing your help. This is a movement against the company. This is a movement to defend artists that have got great visions rather than the committee that thinks that merchandise and manufactured movies is what we want. The Joker proven wrong. All we need you guys and girls to do out there is even though if you're bored with it or you don't want to see it, you know what's more fun? Finding out facts and then informing people about it. Tell the world. Pass it on. Inform people about the Snyder Cut. Those people that thought the Justice League was okay or not, or uh, Avengers was better, talk to them about the Snyder Cut and why that film will actually blow them away. Because it's longer, more action, more see I just don't get you. And if you're still stuck about not wanting to talk about the Snyder Cut, I can't see you as a fan of DC. I can't understand why you wouldn't want more of uh, your DC characters. I wouldn't... Uh, it's, it's beyond me. This is a film, uh, quite like Richard Donner, when the internet became available, the the first thing that came from the internet was fans heard about the Richard Donner cut and put a petition. That film was 20 years after the original. Let's not wait that long, okay? Let's get our Justice League movie. Let's get the one that we should have got before. This is DC Vigilante. Hoping that you spread the word. Release the Snyder Cut.